Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, J Mid, and I'm back with another video, man. Now, yes, Coach J Mid is back at it again in this video, guys. Um, You guys already know how this shit go. Before we get into anything, huge shout out to you guys for love and support. The goal is only five likes for this video. But, um, again, how many times do I have to do this little, this little become a head coach and just to win a game, right? Again, just to win a game. And yes, this is a high rec for the ones who are asking. Is it low rec or is it high rec? It's high rec. I'm in here with Rams. You, know you already know what it is, man. But um, we got a lot of comments to get into. Now, again, I'm going to let you know right now. My mic does go on in the third quarter. So when the third quarter, like, like starts to, when the third quarter starts and, like, it's, like, three minutes in, that's when I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let the rest of the video take over because my mic does go on. I, don't, I know y'all don't want me to hear me over-talk myself in the game, right? Because that's when really shit really went down, right? But anyways, in the meantime, we're going to get some of these comments because we have a lot of comments to get into. And for the one to keep at, I know a lot, I know some of you guys are winning because, again, this channel is growing really fast. We've gained, like, tons of new subs within a, a past couple of days. And, again, that's all you guys. Again, shout out to you guys for love and support. And, again, make sure you guys put your comments down below again in this video on how you feel about it. But what I was saying was this. For the ones who keep asking, saying, like, oh, when, is, when are you going to drop another video here and there, bro? When you see me drop them highlights that I don't know nobody's going to care about, the highlights mainly for me. So, don't keep asking, why do, you, why do I drop highlight videos? Just a little throw it out there, right there. Um, I do highlight videos because I watch it by myself sometimes. Again, usually I was going to make the videos private, but somebody said keep them on public because sometimes they want to watch them. But it's up to you. It's mainly for me, right? When you see me drop them highlight videos, just to know a bunch of videos is coming from J-Mid, right? I'm dropping a bunch of videos, right? On that type of shit, right? Anyways, let's get to the comments, right? Because again, I told you we have a lot of comments to get into. We have a lot, tons of comments to get into, right? So let's get to it. Make sure my, my sound on my phone is off. Matter of fact, I got my AirPods in actually, so that's nothing to worry about. All right. So let's get the first comment real quick. All right. So first comment. And I told you guys, my mic does go on in the, in the third quarter. So when we get in the third quarter, y'all see what's going on. All right. Anyway, so first comment is from Rondo21. He says, not going to lie, gang. I got in wreck today. Couldn't make a, a shot. I made shots, yeah, but I wasn't myself. For sure, dunks were still missing. My guy was moving heavy. I can't dunk on somebody five inches shorter than me. I might just stop playing until next season. Fuck 2K. But real, realistically, I, I need a job. I guess once I get a job, I'm definitely going to be missing. It seems like 2K when we get on life. Yeah. Like I said, things like that happens to me. You just get off um, for, off this game for like an hour and then get on, you get straight sweats, just playing wreck, it's just not it. So basically what my guy Rondo is, is saying is, you just need a break from 2K, bro. And again, I went through that shit last season. It was to the point where I was losing so much games, I kept lagging and shit, to where I just need to break off the goddamn game. I'm not going to lie to you. And sometimes it's like that. Like I told y'all before, sometimes I get on this game, and I'm just like, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm gonna be like, when I say this to y'all, that's why I'm taking the shit, so I'm being real with y'all, right? This season right here, um, my my players, when I say my my players, all through my my players, I don't know, they need to be drug tested because all through my my players have been hooping the best I've ever seen them hoop um, when, when it comes to playing rec, right? And the reason why I'm saying the best I've ever seen them, because again, I have three builds now. First season, I only had, I think, one build. Season two, I made the center. But now in this season, I've been I've been getting bad rims, and I've still found ways to find ways to get get it done, right? Now again, that doesn't mean that I've been winning them because clearly I have not been, right? But my my players this season they've been hooping, right? Hopefully that that stays where it is. Hopefully you know I, I don't be lagging or whatnot because again I've been doing I've been doing really they've impressed me a little bit, especially my lockdown. Y'all can see what I'm talking about in the upcoming video, right? But anyways, um as I'm saying to my guy Rondo, yeah, just just, just take a break from two K, bro. That's all it is to it. Um, I wouldn't say like you gotta quit playing, but just just take a break. I, I used to take I take like if, like one time I, I think I took like a whole day off. I wasn't on two K for a whole day, and I was just chilling. And then when I got back, I was just you know just chill, relax, and then I had a better day on two K. But I would just say take a break, bro. Um, I wouldn't really stress it as much. I know we all love two K deep down inside, but right now the game is not where we want it to be. So I mainly tell you just take a break, you know, and just come back to another day. But um. He says, I can honestly say I'm thinking about getting off till next season. I'm only playing for level 39. Yeah, I feel the same way, too. I don't really care for the level of 40 reward for this season, right? But that was Rondo's comment. Anyways, next comment is from Oof3, four hours ago. He says, yeah, shout out to my guy Rondo for that comment. So Oof3 says, I hate... I already know y'all know what that means, but again, I'm just reading the comment. So he, he says, I hate when they waste all the timeouts and be petty. Things like that will make you just want to launch the game and sell the game. And I'm being honest with y'all. That's not me just being, that's not, be, that's not being toxic. 
But imagine if you have the ball and you're open and they call a timeout, right? Now, y'all saw that play that I uploaded today, right? That play clearly, I the three wasn't there again. I, I get because I'm scared where you got blocking me up. Again, I tried to be aggressive, bro. Again, I was like five of eight. When I took that, when I took that drive into the basket, and I was getting foul calls a little bit, so I was five of eight. I took that drive. I got blocked again. I it was only down by one point, so I'm thinking, okay, if I take this this drive and layup right here, or I try to get dunk animation, I'm either gonna get fouled or blah blah blah. And I didn't get fouled. I just got blocked. When I got blocked, we got the ball back. Yo, so we got the ball back, right? Um, and again, I went to the corner, space things out, right? Ball. Somebody else went up and got blocked, right? Center gets the rebound, moving the ball around again. I was in the revenge too, moving the ball around everything. So. I get the ball. Again, there's a 73 rim protector right there in front of my face. I'm not going to shoot that. So, what, of course, what I try to do, I try to beat him off the dribble. Why? Because I'm faster than I'm way, I'm way quicker and faster. I try to beat him off the dribble, which I clearly did, right? I wasn't even going to go. I was going to either pump fake because, again, his mindset, he's going to jump. I was going to pump fake. I was going to just, I was going to go to the basket. He was going to, I was going to let him jump and then I was going to go up because, again, he was going to jump. I was going to have to open layup. He was going to go up by one point. He was only down by one, right? But for some reason, he calls a timeout. And then when he calls the timeout, you look at the play again. I'm open. I'm, I'm wide open again. And I was one of one from three point in that game, too. So I said, but did you make it there? I was one of one from three in that game, too. Again, I was five of eight. I was five of eight in that game. And again, like somebody said, you don't, I don't know if they're playing buddy ball or not. But we should have won that game, right? We should have won that game because all they had to do was pass to the open man. That's what I told you. That's the little things that would cost you games, right? But anyways, we on to the next comment here. Appreciate you for the comment. Um, three. I'm gonna just say three because I don't. I don't really want to pronounce. It. I don't know how to really pronounce the other shit though. Um, yeah, it, it's really dumb to me. Anyways, next comment is from. You hear me? This is from six hours ago. He says, "It's not a matchmaking issue, bro." And again, we just this is we literally just put on a pin. This how does if y'all wonder how this channel works for all the new people that watch this video right now. I don't, if somebody puts their pin, I disagree with it. I'm not going to sit here and, and say, oh, you, you don't have to do, be, oh, you got to watch the videos and all that. I don't do all of that shit, bro. Again, everybody's free to have their own opinion. If you disagree with me, you can disagree. If you agree, you can agree, right? But again, this is just basketball talk, just his opinion, right? So I'm reading this comment. He says, it's not a matchmaking issue, bro. Understand this. If rep, if rep gives the most rep and little kids are after season prize, and little, he says, and little kids are after season prizes, which that which that's the main people who care about this shit, like goggles and go-karts. Hold on. This is an, I'm an L reader right now. This is an L reader by Jay Mitt. <laughs> he says, and dance is on a basketball game. So if Red gives the most Red, what do you think the little kids are going to play? Therefore, the rec it keeps everybody saying you don't have three, you can't play park. It's because of the rep system and the theater. Why well, walk to the park as a random when I can go load up with two other, th other than them in the theater or in rec? For more reps, so I can get my prizes. That's what's the point of rep. That's what he said. That's what's ruining rep matchmaking. He says matchmaking can only do so much when it's for people who suck in the first place. And I don't even know how to play. He says, and most of them don't even know how to play. Make it through the first quarter. They think it's a my career game, and it's not. Um, here's the thing, right? And again, this is just opinions at all. We just talking basketball, right? And again, yeah, I already know I'm not gonna get to all of this comments. Like I told you, I'm dropping tons of videos for y'all. Uh, this up like in a couple of hours, so just be under patient and know my nails are not long. Y'all wanna look? They're not long, right? I don't, I don't know how people think. I got, I, we just off me and anyone, cause I know somebody said, bro, you gotta, bro, my nails are not long. You know what I'm saying this on no homo type stuff too. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyways, um, yeah, what I was, what, what you hear me is saying is this, um. He's saying that the matchmaking is not the problem. He's saying the rewards and the rep is why the the wreck is broken. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. This is why I disagree with you, right? I get what you're saying. I get what you're trying to like like put out there, saying, "Oh well, if the, the, if rep gives more rep, of course I'm gonna go play rep." I get that, but. Like I said, I can go in the wreck right now, like currently right now, and they will pair me with teammates that are that don't know what they're doing. And I'm being serious. I'm being through. That is a con they will pair me with teams that don't know what they're doing consistently. And I mean, they have no clue on how to play the game, on how to, to play the position. They have no basketball IQ, right? That to me is 2K. That's not, oh, that's just, uh, that, that's because rep, they give them, they give them most rep. That's just pairing me with players that just don't know what they're doing. And some of them don't even go for it. Some of them just go in the player because they want to play rec. But they don't understand the basics of basketball, bro. You see what I'm saying? So, 
I think it's a matchmaking issue. And honestly, to be to be honest with you, I think if 2K were to put a division type of thing in the game to where it's everything is split up, right? People would start playing better because they would realize how bad certain players are in certain divisions to where they would want to get up. They would they would want to get out of that division. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, we we all have our different opinions, but um, that's just my take on what you said. Anyways, we on to the next comment. Um. I just think it's just, I think the matchmaking is just really awful. It's really the worst it's ever been, though, this year, for real. Like, it's really been this bad. But, um, yeah. Y'all see Jamie wide open for threes. You know, knock that down. He goes straight to the drum, right? Anyways, right, I told you, my mic goes on the third person. Let me get some more comments, too, right? Anyways, next comment. I was just going to um, run through these comments, okay? So, let me make sure I got that comment read, right? And, again, I'm reading everybody's comments, so, yeah, I do this shit, right? Anyways, so, we have a comment from Scar eight hours ago. He says, oh, my God, my life in a video. It's it, it's literally so it, it's so sad, bro. On how how on the fact that this is consistently happening, and two K doesn't really like they're not doing anything about it. So it's like it's gonna continue to happen. So that's that comment right there. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. Next comment is from the Stilo TV. He says, been telling you to squad up with some of your smart subs and see how long we can get a win streak going just for fun. I just dropped, he says, I just dropped 40 and lost because the Rams are trash. Um, again, I don't have a problem with the idea, but let me, I'm going to be honest with y'all, right? I'm gonna be, this is like really on some real shit for me. Because this channel has continued to grow fast and whatnot. Um, the more the channel keeps growing, eventually I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to head to Twitch and whatnot, and then we're going to take over Twitch and whatnot. But um, yeah. The players that I'm looking to run with, and again, there's no knock to any of my, my subscribers out there, because again, I will add all of y'all, and we can just always, you know, just play any time. But when it comes to me playing, and you know, when I'm streaming or whatnot, because again, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch very upcoming soon or whatnot. I mean, I stream on Twitch now, but like, it's not as big as it's, it's going to be upcoming, right? But um, I want to play with, like, comp players to where, and again, I don't have to go out there and I don't got to drop 30 if I need to. I can go out there and have 12 points and we still win. I'm not saying, oh, you just want to be carried, but that is kind of what I'm saying. Because, again, bro, I've played with so many harsh and bad randoms this year when it comes to this game tour. I feel like I deserve to play with comp-type players, and they can just carry me to the victory, right? Right? That's what I That's what I want to play with. And, again, it's not a knock to any of my people that, that watch my videos and whatnot. I, I can, I'll run with you any time, but I'm talking about when it comes to, like, me live from the whatnot. I want to run with some, you know, top, top players, right? You know, pause. I want to run with some players that have, you know, the, the IQ, the skill. They know what they're doing. I don't got to say nothing. They can, they just know how to hoop, right? That's what I'm looking for. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't have a problem with hooping with you guys. It's just, I'm looking for certain things right now. Well, not right now, but upcoming. But I definitely uh, see what you're saying, the Steel TV. Now, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. For right now, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get the, the message out there so 2K can do something about this shit because this is absolutely terrible. I had to become a coach in this game, bro. And if y'all think I'm lying, wait till the third quarter. Just wait till the third quarter because that's when shit get real, right? Anyways, go on to the next comment. And again, shout out to Scar. Shout out to the Steel TV for that. Shout out to, you heard me for the last the comment he put. Shout out to Art for the comments. Now we got a comment from Spark. Spark Tactus Jones. This is from eight hours ago. Let me take a sip of water real quick. Gotta hurt because uh, the, the mic about to come on soon. And yes, I was just gonna wear like that. I don't know why for some reason. And when it's like midnight, the water hit different. You already know how it should go. Um, you already know how it should go, right? Anyways, we to the next comment. Spark Tactus Jones says, "I feel your pain. More than likely, you were playing with the party." And he's, they decided to not pass you the ball. I hate Rams 80% of the time, especially when you play with selfish people who are in a party. And what I hate is about them is this. They're in a party when they're not that good. That's what I don't like. I, I, like, if you're going to be in a party with somebody, you got to be, like, on some, some, some comp type shit, in my opinion, bro. Like, and I get it. If they're just your IRLs, that's different. But I'm talking about for people that just meet people in the game, and they think that they can just team up and just be, like, those guys. Like, come on now. See what I'm saying? Something needs to change, though. I'm pretty sure for the comments, Spark Tactics Jones. Y'all see I'm player to half right now. Uh, four or five, four or six from the field. Three assists, nine points. One and one from three. No, I'm just like I said, wait, because the mic about to come on in a minute. Just trust me. Something needs to change, though, Spark Tactics. Something needs to change.
So my mic goes on, uh, I, I put it in my notes, it goes on at 321, right? Okay, so when it hits 321, that's when I'm going to start reading the comments, right? And again, trust me, we back with another video coming after this one. So I know y'all thinking, okay, well, you didn't get to my comment. I'm uh, Trust me, this is not the, I told y'all, when I upload highlights, know a haul of videos is coming y'all way, right? Just know that. So I'm going to get to every comment, trust me. Right here, Jamie, behind the back, crossover, dunk. Oh, my gosh, that was tough. Even if it was in slow motion, that was tough. I had to clip that one. That was tough. Find a way to get to the basket easy. And again, shout out to my guy, Jair. Shout out to my guy, Ty Ma. Shout out to TT. Um, y'all make sure y'all go check her out. Y'all make sure. Shout out to uh, for the, the day ones popping, you know, all of them. Uh, What's his name? Um, It's somebody I'm thinking about. Oh, Draco. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Yeah, I'm thinking of people, right? Anyways. On me, on me, I'm pissed. He says, my guy Jerry says, he says, I would have been pissed. On me, I am pissed, bro. On me, I am. What? what what's going on? Like, why is y'all... Boy, y'all can't stay with an arrow. That's insane, bro. Just time out. You don't know what you're doing, Tony. Tony don't know what he's doing. You don't know what you're doing. Why are you next to the center, Tony? Move! Hey, you just cause... Boy, I, I don't understand, bro. Like, you not understand the game of basketball? You can't just stand next to one person. Like, that's stupid, bro. Trying to get the man getting blocked, bro. That's stupid. I don't care, bro. 20 need to move out the way, bro. It's not even I'm, I'm yelling. It's the fact that he's doing the same thing every time. He's standing next to the center every single possession. And that's why he keeps getting blocked. That don't make no type of sense, bro. Move out the way it's called. Move around. Space the floor. You don't have to stand next to him every time. Dang, man. It's the stupid little things, bro. That stuff should be fundamental, obvious stuff. You don't stand next to a player one every single time, bro. You ain't gonna miss both free throws. Trash. What a shot meter, too, at that. I ain't passing nothing, bro. Trash team, this is, bro. Gotta teach people how to play in season four. Imagine. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Thank you. Look, shoot that. Open. You gotta knock that down. Good rebound. Shouldn't I be losing this game, man? Fundamental basketball, that's all it is. He's not gonna shoot it. Stay with yours. Stay with yours, PG. He's not shooting the ball. He can't shoot. Give me that, stupid. Shouldn't be losing this sorry team, man. Look at this idiot, bro. Why did I give him the ball? Why did I pass that bum the ball, bro? He don't know what he's doing. He ain't about to get a headache playing this game, bro. Twenty, stop going next to the center. Just sit in one spot. For crying out loud, man, you gotta be a little kid, bro. That can't be no grown adult doing that, bro. That's gotta be a kid doing that. That's got to be a kid doing that. That doesn't make any sense, bro. And for some odd reason, nobody can hit a free throw. I don't. I don't understand that either. Nobody can make one free throw. This 
This is embarrassing. This game should not even three people me and it's a four point game. Imagine it. Instead of just staying on their man, bro. There's no point in you just going down past the right there. We should just cook it, bro. We were gonna do all of that. Bro, not nah, Clay. It's not. It's not the. No, I'm not yelling, bro. It's fundamental basketball, and I'm having to say the little, the obvious things, bro. Like, let me, let me tell you right now. Let me give you an example, right? Why are they doubling one player, right? Now, I get it. There's three people, right? But the AIs can make shots in this game. Everybody should know that. Not to mention, nobody can make a free throw, which I don't understand that either, right? So why are they doubling one player instead of just staying home on their guy? Doesn't make any sense, bro. It doesn't make any type of sense. Just stay on yours. It's absolutely embarrassing. This is a joke, man. But he can make a free throw. <laughs> Having to say the same thing over and over again. Smell good, I ain't gonna lie. Adam, oh, big, why would you? Should have just stayed there. I had him open. He was wide open. Should have stayed where you were. See, that's another thing too, Quay. I look. I don't look just to score my points. I look for everybody on the court, bro. He tipped it. I don't I have a good passing on this bill. Out of bounds. <laughs> That's wild, bro. It really is. No, bro. Like, I don't know why you keep doing that. You're not doing that, bro. Bro, you gotta make one of those. That's Team Take. Come on now. That's two in a row. Just say five in a row because you're missing two free throws. Two, two in a row, but Take is insane, bro. I can see one, but two? Nah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I got more assists than the PG because I told you I don't look to score every time. Because people be open. Illegal screen. <laughs> that was obvious. Who 
probably better be lucky where I play. Because if I, if I would have said on my, on my 19 mindset, people would have hated me playing in this game. So I, my 19, I'm taking at least 20 some shots, bro. My player was that level, right? Like, I was going to take that many shots for real. Nobody's open, so I'm not passing the ball. Nobody's open. Literally, nobody's open. Stop jumping, son. You just got to put your hands on it, bro. You don't know how to play the position. You know, it's not even being... I'm just being honest. He doesn't. He, he way bigger than that dude, and he playing down to his level. Like, you should be... Just put your hands up and force him to do bad shots, bro. That's all you got to do. I have a center myself. All you got to do is put your hands up. That guy is smaller than you. Like, come on. Like, bro, if the dude is smaller, why are you jumping on him? Just put your hands up. But I, I don't like, I'm tired of having to say the same stuff and be having to coach people on how to A, use their build and play the position and play the game, bro. Like, there's no absolute way I should have to keep doing that time and time. Like, right there, you shouldn't be in the way. You should have just stayed where you were. You're bigger than him. Go to work. Thank you for crying out loud. You should have just stayed where you were. Gotta do better than this, man. You can't shoot. Go ahead and pass it out. Go ahead and pass it out. Yeah, you can't shoot. Turn over. Easy. The game should have never been close in the first place, bro. The game should have never been close. He missed another three. I don't think the game over, bro. He can miss many he wants you now. Wide open. Shoot it. Have to save, bro. Oh no, I'm spamming circle. <laughs> you think I'm about to stay? Imagine, bro. No, bro. Nah. No way. I'm no, no, no. Not again. This is this is literally frustrating, bro. No, no, no. I had this. Oh, listen, listen. I had the same amount of rebounds as the center. That should tell you something, bro. And he's ten times bigger than his matchup. No, you think I'm finna stay in here? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And this guy just shot, he's shooting himself out the game. I mean, even we won, but he messing up his, his percentage. That's on him. Out of bounds. I better get player of the game, too, because literally I'm doing everything correct. I'm efficient, teammate grade, taking open shots. Making the right decisions, all of that, bro. But for him to be 10 times bigger in his matchup and for him to have the same amount of rebounds as me is a huge red flag, bro. That is a huge red flag. Like that, that right there should never happen to you, bro. First quarter. It was 10-10. Second quarter we put up. It was 19-17. And this quarter they put up they put up two points in this quarter. What does that tell you? And he still can't make it with a shot meter. They put up two points in this fourth quarter right here, bro. They had no business being in the game. But you want to know this quite? I guarantee you this. If my mic didn't go in, we would have lost. I promise you. Because the same stuff that was happening, for example, 20 standing next to the center, right? Leave, the dude leaving the man, his, his man wide open. We would have lost this game. I promise you would have. I promise you. He would have been doing the same stupid stuff. Hey, I'm spamming circle. For sure spamming circle. I better get player of the game. Too. Big win, man. That's a big W right there. Y'all see that W? Big W. No, Is that a W? I hope oh, that's a W. Who got it? Who got it? 
They didn't. Who did? Nah. Who they get that to? It better have not been the center, bro. There's no way they gave it to the center. The stats were really like not even impressive, to be honest with you. I, listen, and again, I'm not saying that guy is trash, bro. You had, you had a mismatch. You should have put up 20 and 18 or something. How tall is that guy? He shot five of 13. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna say this footage and find out. Where is he at? So his matchup right here, YouTube. This is his matchup. Look at this. So this guy, 220. Y'all not see what I'm saying? 7 1 220, right? You already know if it's me, barbecue chicken, bro. Just get out the way every time. Because listen, you're too small. I don't care how many badges you so called have. This this ain't this ain't gonna work against my player, bro. It's not. You're just too little. You're just too little. This ain't this would not work against my center, bro. Now look at this guy right here. 73270. And you don't think this guy should have put up 20 and 18 or something like that? What excuses does he have? He's a 94 overall. But I'm going to tell you where you went wrong in this build. First of all, you have no passing, right? And I know somebody's going to say, well, he's 7-3, but guess what? Um, as a big man, you have to be able to at least pass the ball a little bit. I'm not saying you need an 80, 70-something ball I mean, uh, being passing, but you cannot have a no passing on the center because when you get a rebound and you throw the ball out, you got to connect at least on some of them, right? This guy has a 25. You put it on a 77 3 row, which I recall you took uh, no threes. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many threes you I think you took no threes last game. Number two, you have a 76 mid range. You put an 88 free throw, right? This And then the speed and well, as well. You have 90 strength and you only put up 11 points. Do you not know what I be talking about, YouTube? Folks don't know how to use their builds. They don't. Look at these badges he got. All it is. But got a 14 win percent. You want to know why he got a 14 win percent? Because he doesn't know how to play the position. He doesn't know how to use his build. Look at the numbers. The numbers should tell you something, bro. I don't know if I get on my center. Let's say the PG, by the way, too. Because I, he shot himself out of the game. 85 three ball, two way, two way three point playmaker. I told y'all this, bro. People will make builds with a so called three point, whatever you want to call it, shoot themselves out of the game. Um, shooting 21% from three. 20% uh, from the field in five games. That's absolutely awful. It's atrocious, right? Atrocious, right? The, the shooting guard, let's see what he did. He, the shooting guard put up 21 points. Um, seems like he... I, I don't know. like, Because I don't know. Because I really was... I was really getting mad at 20 in the, in the center. But looking at the shooting guard, 6-9, two-way inside-outside score. Um, the defense little could be a little bit better. But his see right here, he has no passing on this build. And he's the point guard, but they had him at shooting guard. So this is another build where I wouldn't make because, again, you have no passing. And as a point guard, you have to have passing. But he put a 93-3 ball, right? And look at his stats. He put a 93-3 ball in his shooting 15% from three, right? The 33% right? Again, that build to me, I just wouldn't make it. You already know my build. I haven't even matched my build out yet, right? You already know my build is not maxed out, right? I'm gonna be able to, I get an 83 through ball, I believe. I get an 80 something mid range. You already know I get contact dunks, elite contact dunks, all of that. My speed is the only factor, is the only thing. Other than that, I get 80 in tier, 80 some perimeter, 80 some steel, and an 80 some block, right? This build is all around solid, right? I can get to the basket, I can finish strong, I got bully, all of that. And, right, I got all of these shooting badges, right? But y'all pay attention to how I play. I don't just look to score every possession. I look to what I got. If it's not there, I'm, I'm moving the ball around, right? Defense wise, ankle brace, all of this, bro. Right? And my numbers don't lie to you. Y'all can say you got a 39.1%. You already know I play at randoms, bro. Look at my shooting numbers. I'm shooting 58, 68, and 77, right? Solid all around. My free throw is probably at a, a low right now because, again, I feel like we get this something to the um to the low shooting, so, which they clearly did. You already know that. But, um... There's no way that that center that I was just on my team, this guy's a 25, 25%, 27%. He's shooting 40, 25, and 27 with a 25, 1% on a 6'9 power forward. This is that, that power forward that I was telling, but he's a 98 overall. And, and he was standing next to the center every time when he, he has the ability to shoot the basketball, which means he has the ability to stretch the floor. So 
Let's look at the opponent, because I already know the opponent was terrible. Um, just, just not, just not nothing. Just literally nothing, bro. The opponent was literally nothing. Look, my guy had four points, because I dared him to shoot the basketball, bro. And this is what I be telling y'all, bro. A lot of these players, they don't want to shoot. Look at his numbers. They're awful. They're not good, right? That's what we're gonna do for this video. I told y'all though, bro. I should never have to keep saying this. I feel like if I feel like this YouTube, I feel like every season it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again, bro. It's the same exact thing. I gotta tell people when where they got what they gotta do on they on they build. I gotta tell people what they shouldn't be doing. Like, I shouldn't have to keep coaching and coaching and coaching. And again, I'm not good. Let's look at my record real quick. Because I know people are going to tell me, well, how, what's your record look like? It's not good because I'm having to tell people over and over again on how to play the game. I shouldn't have to do that. I should not have to do that, bro. But this is NBA 2K23. This is what this game is. People don't know what they're doing. And again, I hate to be the one to put the mic on and having to really get mad and tell people, yo, we're like, what are you doing this and that? But I have to because if not, I'm going to lose the game. You already know that. If I don't say anything, I'm going to lose. It's that plain and simple. If I'm not going to start saying 20, what are you doing this and that? We would have lost. The big man left his man open for three threes, what, three times in a row. I, like I said, after the second three, y'all should be able to figure out, okay, this guy can shoot the basketball. But no, you're going to test it out again, leave him wide open. And I find it funny, this is what I hate too, I'm, and we will get up out of here with this video. What I hate about it is this. Once people realize, oh yeah, the guy can shoot, you, you, you only play defense when you're down points. But when the game was within reach or within when it's tied, you wasn't guarding that guy. But now when, you're, when you find yourself down seven, eight, nine points, now you want to go pull a defense. That's what pisses me off. Because, like, bro, in the first place, you should have been at least getting a hand up, not just sitting there watching him shoot the basketball. It's unacceptable, man.